For more Hawaii videos, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. Aloha, I'm Miriam and this is Yes to Hawaii. We make Hawaii videos take the guesswork out of planning your trip. As always, I'll leave timestamps in the description box below, so feel free to skip around the video for the parts that you came here for. In this video, I'm going to share with you seven unforgettable Hawaii experiences. Everything in the video will be linked in the description box below. Everything listed in this video is specifically for the island of Oahu. If it's your first time flying to Oahu, you'll be flying into Honolulu Airport, which is airport code HNL. You'll also probably like this video on seven ways to get from Honolulu Airport to Waikiki. But now, on to the video. Item number one is hands down probably my favorite activity that I've ever done on this island, and that is the helicopter jump. As part of Trident Adventures, they offer a helicopter jump and scuba dive. Yes, it's exactly what it sounds like. You are going in a helicopter, doors off, you jump out of the helicopter anywhere between 20 to 60 feet, and then after that, you go scuba diving. They call it the Navy SEAL experience, and the reason for this is Twofold. One, you definitely feel like a Navy SEAL when you're doing it. And two, and the biggest reason, the two founders are actually ex-Navy SEALs. Over the past 10 or so years that I've been working as a concierge, off and on, I have probably done about a dozen helicopter rides. You can check out my review on the Yes to Hawaii website and I'll leave a link in the description box below. So when I heard that you could do a helicopter jump, I was like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so let me set the scene and explain how it works. You meet over at the dive shop. From the dive shop, you do a safety briefing. You head over to the heliport that's at the airport. You get on a doors off flight. From that heliport, you fly over to the Waikiki skyline just off the coast and there is a boat waiting for you. From the helicopter, you are jumping out of the helicopter anywhere between 20 to 60 feet. I personally chose a comfortable 30 feet and even so, it was absolutely phenomenal. Like to be standing out of a helicopter overlooking the Waikiki skyline, you've got Diamond Head to your right, the skyline to your left, and then you're jumping into the water. I gotta say, my adrenaline was all over the place. After you jump in the water, there's a safety swimmer waiting for you. From there, you'll be transported over to the boat, have a few minutes to chill and decompress, and then you get your scuba dive gear on. And then, you go scuba diving. The crew, 10 out of 10. Shout out to Steve, one of the founders who jumped with us, and shout out to Laurel, best dive master. Thank you so much for helping me through my panic whenever I was scuba diving, much appreciated. Check out the link in the description box below where I show you everything about the experience and it was phenomenal. Number two is the electric bike at Kualo Ranch. Kualo Ranch is also known as Jurassic Valley and it's normally known for their ATV tours. It is a 4,000 acre private nature reserve that's known for their Hollywood movie site sets, such as Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, 51st Dates, Godzilla, and so forth. The electric bike is a two hour tour that goes into Jurassic Valley and it covers a lot of the same sets and sites as the ATV tour. You can check out this video for when I did the electric bike tour at Kualo Ranch, or if you're curious about the ATVs, you can check out this video for the ATVs. But why the electric bike? At Kualo Ranch, the UTVs or ATVs require you to be at least 21 years of age. And sometimes because they're so popular, they can book out weeks in advance. However, the electric bike is a lesser known tour that is actually really, really good. I absolutely loved it. As somebody who's done both tours, I can say that the electric bike I thought was quite a bit more fun. They're going into Kualo Ranch, but instead of having the roar of the ATV, you're having a super quiet electric bike with you the entire time. Plus, if you have anybody in your group that's under the age of 21 who did want to drive and is unable to, the age restrictions for the electric bike is considerably lower. Or if you just want to be the one driving versus being a passenger for the ATV, the electric bike is also a really fun option. Number three is the submarine ride. The submarine ride is located at the Hilton Hawaiian Village in Waikiki. It is the largest passenger submarine in the world. You go underwater and you see sunken ships, sunken planes, fish, turtles, you see it all. I took my friend and her adorable four-year-old son, and I can honestly say, after this trip, I am now the coolest auntie of all time. The submarine ride is pretty cool. It's completely air-conditioned, and there's plenty of space. Besides it being a really cool experience, it's also a really great option for those who want to see marine life but don't want to get in the water, aren't good swimmers, or don't want to snorkel. I've done the submarine ride three times over the past few years, and I can honestly say that every submarine ride is different. The most recent submarine ride that I did, it was, it was pretty cool. Like there was a, I, I don't know how else to describe it, like a turtle party 
on the actual bow of the boat and I'll insert a clip in here, but I don't think I've ever seen that many turtles on a submarine ride, probably ever. I did the submarine ride during the summertime, so it was a lot calmer and visibility was really clear. I went on the two o'clock submarine ride and you can check out this video if you want to see what that submarine ride looks like and if it's something for you. If you're getting value from this, hit the like button. It helps more people find the video. And if you have an unforgettable Hawaii experience, leave a comment down below and share with this community. Number four is to see a volcano, but this requires an island. Hop. One of the most common questions I get asked as a concierge from guests who are coming to Hawaii for the first time is where can I see a volcano? Now on our island of Oahu, we do have the Diamond Head Crater, which is an extinct volcanic crater, but there is no lava here. If you wanted to see an active volcano, that would be over on the Big Island. To get to the Big Island from the island of Oahu, it is a quick flight, about 40 to 45 minutes, and there are two main airlines that will fly there, Hawaiian Airlines and Southwest Airlines. There's self-guided options and fully guided options, depending on how you want to travel. If it's your your first time to the Big Island and you're really interested in volcanoes and you'd like that extra bit of narration, guided tours are a great option. The narration is great because you know what you're looking at. You also see a lot in a short bit of time because you're with a local driver who knows all the highlights and can show you as much as possible in a short amount of time. You're not figuring out highlights, distances, routes, you just show up. If you're interested in a guided option, check out this video for a guided tour option that I recently did originating from Oahu heading over to the Big Island for just one day. If you prefer to travel on your own or you want to do the extra research to figure out what are the best spots and highlights, you can also do a trip to the Big Island on a one-day flyover on your own. The self-guided option would essentially be booking your airfare, booking a rental car, and then doing the legwork to figure out what spots you want to see specifically. This would include flying over there early morning, spending the day on Big Island, and then flying back that same evening. Next is a morning cultural sale. This is by far one of the most unique experiences I've done here on the island of Oahu. You're on a traditional Polynesian double hold sailing canoe. The boat is the classroom. And it's really authentic because our hosts were Kamehameha graduates and our captain was also a Kamehameha graduate. If you're not familiar with Kamehameha schools, Kamehameha schools are schools that are aimed for students of native Hawaiian descent. The focus throughout the education from K through 12 is native Hawaiian history, culture and language. It's also a really good small group option because the tour is limited to just six people. They run a few times a day. We chose to do the eight o'clock tour and it was the best. They run a couple tours throughout the day. We chose the first tour of the day, the eight o'clock, the morning sale, and I can honestly say it was worth waking up for. The eight o'clock sale was so much better because the water was a lot more calm. And on top of that, there weren't that many boats in the water that early in the morning, so it was a lot more serene. Another really good thing about this specific activity is some of the proceeds from the tickets that you purchase to go on this activity and learn about Hawaiian culture goes back towards funding community outreach for students of native Hawaiian descent to learn more about their own culture and history. And that education and community outreach is completely free of charge to the kids. If you wanna see more, you can check out this video. Next is booking a luxury private yacht. Yes, you can book a snorkel cruise, a dinner cruise, a sunset sail, but you can also book a completely private experience on a luxury yacht. You can also book smaller boats if you want to go to specific areas. We recently did this boat to go over to Sandbar on a smaller speedboat. But depending on what you want, you can go all the way up to complete luxury, all the bells and whistles fully catered as well. And it works out really well if you have a larger group of people to divide up the price. One of my favorite places to snorkel is Turtle Canyon. And you can also take a private yacht out to Turtle Canyon and snorkel there without anybody else except your group and your family. The next one is to catch the Friday night fireworks show. Now you can catch this on the land or on the water. This is one of my favorite things to do on a Friday night when I'm out with friends. The Hilton Hawaiian Village shoots off fireworks every Friday at eight o'clock. They took a pause over the past couple years, but recently restarted it back up mid-June. At the time of this filming, the fireworks show is currently shot off at 8 p.m. However, sometimes that can change. In previous years, the fireworks show was also shot off a bit earlier at 7.45. But again, at the time of this filming, it is at 8 p.m. The show is short, it's only about five minutes. But if you're in the Waikiki area, I would definitely head down to the Hilton Hawaiian Village to check out the fireworks show. Besides catching the show on land, you can also do so on the water. A lot of sunset sails and dinner cruise boats also stay out longer on Friday nights to accommodate for the fireworks show. One of my favorites was this one, the Hilton Hawaiian Village's own catamaran cruise. They do a fireworks sail from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. every Friday. The boat stays out just a little bit longer past eight to watch the fireworks show and then heads back into the port. While I love seeing the fireworks from the shoreline, it's pretty beautiful to see it from the water. You've got 
happy. Fireworks on your left, you've got the Waikiki skyline, and it's pretty cool. If you like this video, you'll also like our itinerary idea playlist where we give you itinerary ideas on different things you can do here on the island of Oahu. You'll also like this playlist for activities that you can do here on the island as well as our neighbor islands. I take you with us as we do each of the activities so you can take a look and decide if it's right for you. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if there's any other Hawaii videos you'd like to see, definitely leave them in the comments down below.